Hello, oh, this is Anton over at thehyperadvisor.com. I'm going to go into a quick video here to show the creation of a data store cluster. Uh, in this small environment here, I have two hosts. You can see I already set up the, uh, the cluster with the host. The cluster settings do not have HA or DRS configured. Um, for setting up the data store cluster, you can have the uh, HA or DRS configured or not. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. So you can set up the data store cluster from a couple different areas here. And one is from the cluster summary. You get the new data store cluster. Or you can go into the data stores and clusters. Right click on the data center here and you'll get an option for a new data store cluster. Going back, I wanted to can do it from here. Show that I have two NFS uh, shared data stores here and uh, a couple local ones. And if we go across here, we'll notice also that storage IO control is not enabled on any. So let's go ahead and create the data store cluster. Just going to give it a name. I'm going to leave uh, the turn on storage DRS. You get the option for either manual mode or fully automated. And if it's in manual mode, you're going to get recommendations and you get to choose when to act on them. And fully automated, of course, is going to take the, the thresholds and settings that you configure and it will act on those when they reach the reach those thresholds. So if we click next, we'll we'll enable the IO metrics for storage DRS. Um, we can see the thresholds here and the defaults 80 and 80 percent utilized and uh, 15 milliseconds of IO latency. So when the when these thresholds are actually hit, uh, the storage DRS will will act on those and and move the VMs uh, from those data stores to help satisfy or get get the the data stores below the thresholds. I'm going to click next on here. We can select the either the data center or the cluster uh, or both. Here we're going to just select the cluster to be to use this this data store cluster, and we're going to click next. And if we look here, we can see that there are no data stores showing up right now. Um, this is because by default it is uh, selected here. You look for the data stores that are connected to every host that is in the cluster. And if we look here, we'll see that these two NFS data stores that we have are not connected to every host. So we can go ahead and look at this. I did this on purpose just to show if you have, if you have a single host that's not configured properly and seeing all the, the data stores you will not get the option. It won't show up in here. So this is easily fixed. We'll go to the host, which is this one here. We can look at the configuration under storage here and see that the NFS data stores are not configured. And I'll go ahead and configure those real quick. the second one okay now those are actually 
set up on both hosts. You can see it from here, and they're both green, so they're good. Now, if we go back to the configuration, set it for fully automated, keep the defaults. Set it up for this cluster only, and now we get to see both the NFS data stores that we have in there. So we're going to click next after selecting both of these. We'll get a the the final informational screen here, just telling you what your settings are, and we'll just click finish from here. So as we can see the task is is done. So if we go into the data storage and clusters area here, we'll see that we now have a data store cluster. And if we click on the summary and also we drop down we can see those NFS data stores there. And we can get the information about this data store cluster, just as you would if you were looking at uh, ES, uh, host cluster. From here, we can also edit. And also, if we go back to the host, we can see that storage I.O. control has been enabled for those NFS data stores. So that's it for this quick video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out my blog over at thehyperadvisor.com. Check you later.